What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Nikki here and in today's video is going to be a little bit different y'all. We're going to do a day in the life of a real estate agent slash operations manager for a real estate team here in South Orange County but we are kind of all over and I'll get into that in a minute. But you guys you already know the damn drill. Let's get it. Ooh, big bad. You're not talking money you can miss me with the chit chat. I'm not with the rah rah or the all right, you guys, first things first is I didn't actually record like my morning routine because to be honest, I don't think anybody wants to watch like a 40 minute long vlog video of mine. If you disagree, you can let me know, but I just don't think people want to see that. To make it quick, I will tell you the three things I do every single morning. I wake up at five and I do these three things. So the first one, work out. Second thing is I manifest, I visualize, I meditate for about 10, 15 minutes, and then I say my morning prayers to the big boss above. And then I get started with my day, I get dressed, I have breakfast, bada boom, bada bang, pack a lunch, you know, all that good kind of stuff. And then about 7.30, I hit the road and I get to the office. Now I am the first one in the office because your girl is a morning person. Winners wake up early. But with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys our office, I'll show you our space, and then I'll show you my actual office where I spend all of my day, basically. So let's go ahead, let's get this little tour thing started. So that's the back door. I come in through the back door because I got it like that. That's my office, we'll talk about it in a minute. Then in this hallway, you guys, we just have offices galore. This is our commercial office. We have a guy in there. We have our own in-house escrow. Obviously someone is moving into this office. And then you guys, we have a bunch of like conference rooms. So this first one is the coastal room and it's clean, it's fresh. It looks pretty nice in here. We got the desk, the table, that keyboard because you can link your computer up to this huge monitor if you wanted to sit in here and work, but it's mostly just like a meeting area or whatever, whatever. Then a few steps this way, we have our training room. So this has some inspirational stuff on the wall, big old tables, a whiteboard. You guys know how I feel about whiteboards. I freaking love whiteboards. Just, you know, a little team kind of area there. And then right next to that, we have basically like the break room, kitchen area. Really the only thing in here I use is that coffee machine right there. <laughs> but you know, you can do whatever you want here, I guess. Have lunch, whatever. Welcome to Orange County, because that's the market that we serve, but not the only one. Then we have the forest room. It's just another conference room. Real aesthetic, you know, real pretty. Check out that. I mean, that's just nice. And then we have the California room, which is just, you guessed it, another little conference space. This is actually where I had my interview for the job. Good memes. Next to that, we have like a little corner here where, you know, you can print things. That's a shred box, just kind of a little administrative office space for agents. And then we have like the front desk receptionist. Not here yet. They get here in like half an hour. The front door. A nice little lobby area, real fresh. You got me over there and Amir, what's good? Yeah, beautiful office, you guys. I think it's really clean, crisp. It's called a market center, and this is like the market center manager's room. The printer, you know all that. Some old ass deals that someone needs to erase. Then there's my office space, so let's check this out. Okay, now wait a minute. Hold on a second. Ooh. Now, this space is a little bit dirty, y'all, because... My boss, my team moved over from another location over here. And so we are in the process of setting some things up. For instance, on this wall behind me, we're gonna slap like a 60 inch TV and it's gonna be sick. But um, I added this little rug. I thought it was a nice fresh little look, a little something cute. Here's my desk, you guys, look, it's a stand look. Oh my, so I can stand up and do my damn work. Oh, did you see that? Ooh. Then you guys, my vision board is behind my desk, so I'm always looking at what I will have someday. All right guys, so the first thing I do when I come in is clock in. Now that's kind of different because if you're just an agent, you're not clocking in, you're not clocking out, you're commission based, it's sales, you don't really answer to anyone. You make your own schedule, you grind it out, and you live and die by that. But for me specifically, because I am this team's operations manager and client relations manager, I do clock in. So I not only have the opportunity of selling real estate and making commission off of that, but I do have a stable income, a stable paycheck, plus bonuses based off team performance, stuff like that. So that is the number one thing your girl is gonna check in so we can get paid. Whenever you get a work phone, you feel special. <laughs> All right, so after I clock in, I always pull up my calendar because my morning is always the same. I keep the same damn routine. Routine is key, y'all, okay? Whether you're an agent or you're working on a team or you're an operations manager for an agent or an assistant or whatever, you got to have a schedule. Your morning has to be down pat. So the first hour, hour and a half, two hours, depending on how much business we are doing, is filled with what we call and I call big rocks. So anything basically in escrow, under contract, right here, actually, okay? I have a binder here. 
here of all the properties and deals we have going on right now. So what I do is I go through every single one of these sheets, the timelines, the property sheet, and I make sure we're on track. We have the documents going where they need to go. We got things popping and stuff moving on. And currently, right now we have five properties. Well, we have four properties that we listed in escrow and we have one buyer. So I'm going to spend the next hour or so following up with that, making sure we are on track, talking to whoever I need to talk to. I got this speaker here because I like to blast some tunes. My boss loves it. I love it. We're just vibing, straight vibing over here on this team. And the thing with that is like he gets in around 830. So he's about half an hour behind me. So I get a good amount of work done before he gets in. And then he goes straight on a call with all the sales agents and has a sales meeting. They do like role play, script work, stuff like that. And that goes till about nine o'clock. And then from nine to 11, 1130, he's on the phones. He's prospecting for business. He's doing the damn thing. Okay. Matter of fact, all of our agents are okay. If you're an agent and you're not grinding out prospecting your first two, three hours of the day, it ain't gonna work for you. But the majority of my role here is an operational role. So I don't prospect on the phone for people. I usually just do my sphere, check in with friends, family, whatever, past people I may have met and just keep it real close to home. They're the ones out there really hustling for the new business. But another big part of my job responsibility is to talk to agents. So any agents that may be new or maybe in the three to five deals a year range, we are looking actually to expand and I'll get into that a little bit later but we need agents like we need people on our team because we have too many leads we're doing too much for just like a small-ish group of people so if you're in South Orange County California if you're in like Palm Springs the desert LA San Diego if you know anyone in those areas that is an agent or getting their license or whatever please reach out to me have them contact me we are really in desperate need not desperate need okay I shouldn't say that but we really want to find good individuals who want to make a lot of money and who want to grind and be successful in their life like we want to provide that value and opportunity for them because we've got it down pat, let me tell you. But that's enough jibba jabba for me. I need to get into work a little bit, so I will see you in a little while. My name is Nicole. I'm with the Deganzini group. Um, we have a property out in the desert in La Quinta that we're trying to get quoted for an inspection. So if you could give me a call back, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye. Call, text, email. So now I'm going to text him and I'm going to email him because you got to just stay on top of people because people just, they don't be doing their job. Now somebody's calling my personal line. Don't be calling me there. We're double ending a deal out in La Quinta, California. And so I'm trying to get a quote for our property to get it inspected because our buyer is a little bit, you know, picky. But it's all good. We're here to serve, right? We're here to find the best deal for our people. So, so I'm just calling around trying to get a good inspector. There weren't too many emails. There's not a lot going on. So I'm just going to continue to make sure we have everything we need to be on track to close these deals check in with the agents make sure they don't need anything if they do need some they can let me know but i'm gonna get back to bumping my ariana grande and uh, i will see you in a little bit all right you guys it's about a quarter to 10 which means i'm pretty much caught up with everything i need to get done first thing in the morning and between 9 30 and 10 o'clock is when i go make a cup of coffee i don't like to drink coffee first thing in the morning on weekdays i'd rather drink a bottle of water get here get some work done drink another bottle of water and then have a coffee to kind of pick me up mid-morning. So that is what I'm going to go make right now. All right, guys, so lighting is crappy. Sorry about it. But I got my coffee, okay? We're sipping on this coffee. And then um, I'm just kind of following up with a couple inspectors for one of our properties I'd mentioned already earlier. So I'm trying to get that scheduled, get quotes, stuff like that, send them to our buyer. And then um, at this point, it's around 10 o'clock, a little after 10 o'clock. Um, I am going to do some, as you can see right there, I got that headset. I'm gonna do some calls, follow up with Spear, follow up with some agents, um, just kind of, you know, get on the phone and make shit happen. Yeah. 
our lead agent, Luis, my boss, he essentially, I mean, he, he's killing it obviously, but he's also a big investor. And so he buys a personal property for himself every single year, whether he rents it out or fixes and flips it. And we are in a contract deal with a company that really specializes in finding investments. So we've already closed escrow on one, but we're gonna get another one in San Diego, possibly another one in LA that will double end hopefully. But essentially they find these distressed properties, either probate, short sale, like whatever. There's some sort of issue, but essentially we buy it they flip it we resell it so i'm learning a lot about the real estate game y'all like investing side of real estate which is exactly why i decided to park roots here with this team because it's way more in line with what i want down the road so make sure you are subscribed because we're gonna be talking a lot about investing in real estate and just what that means what it takes what to look out for we might go tour some properties but also as a real estate agent because i am responsible for helping these agents get business close their deal contract to close make sure it is a seamless seamless event and then try to get referrals testimonials stuff like that for more business so if you are an agent or if you're just interested in investing in real estate or both like myself highly recommend jumping onto this channel because we're gonna be talking a lot about how to make some damn money and have a good ass time because you already know that is the drill so you guys i am going to hop up here grab my sexy little headset okay and uh just call some people i guess you know just do my damn job really but um i will see you guys in a little bit see a lot of people don't realize that when you're calling people 90 percent of them don't answer the damn phone so don't be scared you're not gonna talk to anybody you could dial for an hour and literally talk to no one I don't leave voicemails because, like I said, I'm not actively prospecting new cold calling business stuff like that. It's mostly just people that I know I've talked to before. Like, these are warm, okay? These are warm calls. They're not cold calls. I also mix in, like, let me pause. I also mix in like current clients because part of my job is to check in with them throughout the process of basically contract close which is through escrow or if it's a listing it's basically from the signed listing agreement to the end of escrow so I'm gonna go ahead and check in with a couple of them and uh, we'll see how that goes we use a CRM called Brivity. It's a game changer. It's it's great. It's absolutely great. But um, we have like our own numbers that they dial from Brivity. So sometimes like clients don't recognize the number and they won't answer it. Kim. Hey, Kim. It's Nicole. Deacon Zini Group. Hey, yeah. We're getting close to that closing. You getting excited or what? Oh, you guys. It's been... Okay, it's... Uh, freaking time is it? 12.07. And uh, my lunch is normally 12 to 1. Sometimes it's like 12.30 to 1.30 or 1 to 2. So it's looking like it's going to be a 12.30 situation today. But we've had a hot debacle of a mess here, okay? The CRM system that I was hyping up earlier had a major glitch. And um, we can't search things. We can't look up people. We can't do almost anything. Like, we can't do our jobs really right now. And so I was on support call with them and just trying to keep the team updated and trying to get some documents that were missing for some of our escrow transactions and um yeah the morning flies in this kind of job like i'm telling you it flies but after lunch is normally when we have like interviews going on or follow-up stuff or more admin kind of organizational stuff like for example today we have an interview for tc out in the desert i'm going over my specific business plan with my boss so that's gonna be super fun super stoked for that we have to organize a ton of files get a bunch of papers into the shredder and um really just work on organizing our space so we can work more efficiently well i can work more efficiently to get what i need done therefore what the team needs done so it's been a hectic day you guys i mean to be honest but <sighs> It doesn't help when your systems crash, so that is what it is. You can only do what you can do. But side note, you guys, I was looking at the market today. Usually I always look around, obviously, first thing in the morning. I check it once in a while. I always like to check before lunch to see if there's a buying opportunity for anything. I had my eye on Pepsi, and you know my rule about buying in the red, you guys. Like, I like to buy when things are dropping they're dipping by the dip and i wanted to add pepsi at least one more share and um they're down 0.01 percent today so i'm gonna go ahead like i'm about to just honestly pull the trigger it was up about half a percent now it's dropped down a bit so you know like i said always also in these videos if, if you clicked on this for the whole real estate thing um i do obviously invest in the stock market as well i have a ton of videos on that you can check it out but if you're an investor with me here of the stock market you know what i'm talking about but the red days you guys like grab them on the red days so you're actually gonna watch me buy some pepsi right now so i'm just actually i'm just buying one share so it's currently at 133 dollars and 57 cents so i'm gonna go here i'm gonna hit buy i want one share limit price i'm gonna put 133.55 
So there is my order, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna submit that. I will hit preview and there we go, it got executed. So I always talk about, oh, buy red day, buy red day. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, what if it just turns around, it goes up, blah, blah, blah. What if it falls further? Look, if we're long-term investing, which you should be, cause that is the key. If you're holding these things for 20, 30, 35, 40 years, if you start young enough, you're gonna end up <laughs> increasing your average price over those years. Like the stock is going to do that. So don't stress too, too much, but if something's tanking, and you know you want to hold it for that long then for sure grab those buying opportunities and so with that purchase now I have five shares of Pepsi at an average cost of $128.98 so super stoked just added that to the portfolio added that dividend income to the dividends that just flow in every single month quarterly but I have so many damn holdings that I get paid every month so you already know that and uh, you guys I'm at a lull here and it's past the time for me to go to lunch so I'm about to go eat some lunch I brought my lunch you can see right there because we're on a budget okay we don't spend money on lunch like that we spend money on stocks <laughs> So I just need to open that up. Um, we have like a kitchen eating area outside, but it's been pouring rain and it looks a little cold. So I'm probably gonna stay in here, um, turn off all the emails, turn off our systems, turn off everything. I just watch some YouTube videos. I actually usually use my lunch time to plan my YouTube content. So if you guys have any ideas of what you wanna see, whether it's real estate related, money related, investing in the stocks or in real estate, like whatever, like please throw some ideas down below and uh, I'm gonna enjoy my damn lunch, okay? And I will see you after. All right, guys, it's 1.25, lunch is over, and uh, I just have a few things to do here, answering some emails that came in while I was, you know, on lunch, and then just a few follow-up things for the escrows that we have going on, and um some new information to put into our crm and stuff like that so the next like three and a half hours are actually pretty booked but i will obviously keep you in the damn loop okay all right you guys it is about five o'clock 4 57 and it's about time i clock out um we had a really good interview we really like who we talked to so i think that's going to be just a great addition to the team but just finished up with some last minute emails that i sent out um we may be having an accepted offer coming in tonight we may be opening escrow tomorrow so fingers crossed on that one left my notes in asana which is like an organizational tool like to do kind of list thing that i use to stay on track of everything so um i'm wrapping it up for the evening you guys i'm done you girls Done. But as you guys can see, it's really just a lot of follow-up, keeping people on track, talking to people, pushing paperwork, well, pushing the people who push the paperwork, making sure the agents are happy, making sure everything's on the timeline and getting done on time. And uh, yeah, I mean, today was a pretty low-key day, but I am going to make another video when this office is done and just kind of talk about my office and why I have my vision board up here the way I do, all that kind of cool, fun stuff. And it was just fun documenting my day today, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please smash the thumbs up button for you girl you already know what it does if you are new and you are not yet subscribed hit the red subscribe button join the crew join the journey i post two videos a week on this channel mostly about making money and having a good ass time so if you're into that click the button and you guys you already know if you made it this far you really truly are the mvp come here you know i love you and like always you guys enjoy the journey whatever your journey is and like me and my beautiful lamborghini <laughs> always say we will see you guys in the next one bye guys